Imagine being exposed to extremely cold weather, for example, when you go to a ski resort, where you can experience 17 or 20 degrees Celsius below zero. In these conditions, your hands start getting numb, and you see how it gets harder to open your mouth and speak. It is because your capillaries are retracting. Naturally, as your peripheral nerves are also retracted, you lose the ability to move your fingers, and you are not able to speak clearly. However, when you take a warm bath afterwards, or go to hot springs, your capillaries dilate, or widen, and your blood circulation becomes much more efficient. So your hands and mouth that were stiff before, are now able to move naturally, and normally. This is just one of the significant katsu outcomes. Even with a lack of movement, this katsu phenomenon causes blood circulation through our veins. Next, I would like to talk about the importance of IGF-1, or insulin growth factor. When you train with katsu, a significant amount of growth hormones is produced. After that secretion, another hormone called IGF-1 is also produced. The amount of growth hormone usually peaks about 15 minutes after it begins secretion, and then decreases almost to nothing after about an hour. However, after IGF-1 begins to be secreted, the amount is gradually reduced and still remains until the following day. Naturally, there is a much lower amount of IGF-1 the following day. As you might know, IGF-1 is an important hormone that is responsible for the support and building of bones, muscles, and internal organs. Also, it's very useful for glucose metabolism. In particular, IGF-1 is very much involved in the production of lung cells. That strengthens the immune system, making our bodies stronger. It is very common for the human body to be unable to take its last breath due to lung damage. By strengthening the lungs, more capillaries are generated in the lungs. Naturally, IGF-1 is also secreted in large amounts. In that respect, IGF-1 plays a very important role in our health. That IGF-1 is secreted in this simple cycle. There is nothing as amazing as this. I will address the importance of nitric oxide, or NO. This is what I would like to talk about. When you train with katsu, nitric oxide is released. Nitric oxide helps make up blood vessels, whole cells, and intravascular cells. Blood vessels are made of the inner wall, middle wall, and outer wall. The inner wall must be very elastic, right? Normally, as we get older, the inner wall becomes hardened, stiff, and loses its elasticity. Blood waste, blood clots, etc., can accumulate in the blood vessels, causing them to narrow, and lead to various diseases. However, when you do katsu training, the endothelial cells in the blood vessels increase. The vascular endothelial cells produce a significant amount of nitric oxide that is responsible for the elasticity of the vascular tissue. This is a research paper from when SARS epidemic was happening. 
It showed that by having a very high percentage of nitric oxide, the SARS virus was greatly suppressed. On the other hand, if the healthful elasticity of blood vessels is lost, health declines. Of course, there are other important parts of the body. But I think our blood vessels are the most important thing for our health. When the vascular elasticity is gone, the person is already degenerating, or going in a bad direction. That's why I'd like you to make your blood vessels stronger. Katsu is the best way to do that. Let's build up a great amount of healthy blood vessels, with vascular endothelial cells.